guys Oaks from the us welcome to the channel and thank you for watching in this video we are going to take our mind away from the champions league and all the disappointment and all the frank lampard out uh, ngolo kante out manson mount out we're gonna stay away from all that and go back to the transfer window <laughs> because when one transfer window closes another one opens it's always like that so we've been linked with this dude here uh, from switzerland he's swiss okay his name is zakaria or zakaria i don't know how to pronounce his name but for the sake of this video to give him some respect we're gonna call him zach okay so zach is our target in this video zach is a 23 years old Swiss international playing for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Yeah, that is a long name. I always struggle to pronounce Mönchengladbach and all that. So I'm gonna say Borussia for the sake of the video because I don't wanna destroy names in this video. Anyways, guys, all the jokes aside, Mr. Zach here, I don't know him that much, okay? I'm not gonna pretend here and tell you that I've been watching him since when he was in the academy, like uh, other ITK account on social media, because every time a name like this uh, is linked with Chelsea Football Club, everybody knew him somehow. But 99% of the people are just going to jump on social media or you know youtube and watch some clips and become a specialist immediately okay anyway so <clears throat> according to my expertise of couple hours on social media and youtube i found it very interesting because he's a tall dude he's like 6.3 according to wikipedia and 6.2 according to other website that tells you that I do my homework. <laughs> I can become an expert in Zach and say that I knew him since when he was a baby. <laughs> Anyways, guys, what is interesting is that the guy is a CDM and he can also play as a center back. So that makes sense. And you can connect some dots here because Frank Lampard is looking for a versatile player. That's why he didn't want to buy anybody else but Declan Rice. And if Declan Rice is going to be impossible next transfer window or in summer, and then why not go for Zach? He would be a good option. The news came out first from Christian Falk, FC Bayern, who is a very good journalist and he reported correctly everything about Kai Harvard, Timo Werner and the rest and keep in mind we are not alone. Uh, he said that Bayern Munich are uh, looking to sign him, they talked about other teams like Man United, Man City and he been linked in the past with uh, Arsenal, Liverpool, many teams as usual. It just happened that this time it's about Chelsea Football Club. So. It doesn't mean that if we are linked with somebody and we are going to buy him. Last window, we were linked with some other target, like Sumari and other boys, but it didn't happen. That could be maybe Chelsea playing some mind games here with uh, West Ham and Declan Rice, telling them, hey, if you don't sell him, we are going for somebody else. My question is what's going to happen to Eaton Ampadu if we sign another midfielder? Because I don't understand what the kid need to do to be part of uh, Frank Lampard's uh, plan. And keep in mind, I'm not blaming Frank here because I'm going to get comment down there. That, hey, Frank Lampard out, Frank out, Frank out. Everything that I say now is the comment you got is Frank out. It's becoming ridiculous and stupid, some comments that I'm getting in the chat, because everything, you can't even think outside the box anymore before blaming somebody or somebody need to go, you know? This is me 
trying to open our mind to see uh, our options. Okay, and this uh, news could be fake news, paper talk, but people are just going to jump and start speculating and start blaming the scapegoat. The other day, I made videos about Charlie Musonda and Xavier Mbuyamba injury update and I got so many people in the chat calling Frank Lampard a horrible human being and how he ruined Musonda's and Buyamba's lives. <laughs> it just tells you that uh, those people never even knew who those people were. You know, they never even heard about uh, Charlie Musonda the first time that they saw because if they knew anything, they will understand that Musonda was on two years loan before even Frank Lampard got in charge. So anything to hit Frank Lampard with, people are going to jump on it. Okay, let's say this news got some legs and Frank Lampard really wants Zach at Chelsea Football Club. And I walk in Marina's office. I am the special advisor. Yeah, you heard it. Special advisor for Marina Granovskaya. You know what I should do? I will go to the boss and say, listen up, Marina. Let's uh, make a deal, okay? Let's uh, make a swap deal. Send Andreas Christensen over there and get Zach to Chelsea Football Club. A swap deal without adding any money on top. Because Andreas Christensen is 24. He will be 25 by that time. So he's still very young can still improve and uh, he's been on loan there for a couple years so Marina is going to tell me listen up I don't think uh, Borussia's president is going to accept this deal and blah 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 and I'm like hey listen up use your charm you know how you do your thing baby do it okay take one for the team and make this deal happen <laughs> that is what I am going to advise my boss Marina Granovskaya. But let's get serious now. Andreas Christensen, everybody knows that I am a big fan of uh, the Academy product. Many people forget that uh, Andreas Christensen is from the Academy. So he's been around like for, I don't know, 200 years or something like this. Because he played with John Terry, he played with all kind of coaches, you know. Antonio Conte, Mauricio Sarri, now Frank Lampard, the boy had his chance. I'm afraid he's not the Chelsea level. You know, I always believe in my boys. I always believe on progress. But when you are given a chance like this and you don't take it, I mean, you have nobody else to blame but yourself. He is physically and mentally very weak. You can tell he can't follow instructions. He will give you a good game of football here and five bad games. That is not being consistent and that is not the Chelsea level. Andreas Christensen needs somebody always, you know, beside him to remind him to keep up fighting until the last minute. So in that team, in that defense, we only have like Thiago Silva. So when Thiago Silva is not playing, you can see how the defense is shambolic. So I think it's time for us to start thinking about cashing on Andreas Christensen. What do you think about it? Okay, leave your comment in the description down below and let's share our experience. Do you think we should give Christensen one more year, you know, to experiment 25 years old almost? You know, how many chances this guy need? And we can't even give a chance to Fikayo Tomori and uh, Net uh, Eaton Amparu, you know. So that is just my idea. That is my theory. That is my conspiracy theory. Okay, so don't quote me on that because I didn't. This is my own source. The source is me. <laughs> okay, so let me know if my source is correct or if you would do such a deal with uh, Borussia for a swap deal. God bless you. Think outside the box and see you in the next one.